In this tutorial, I'm going to be carrying on from my list adapter tutorial where I showed you how to get uh, these three text fields inside of a list view. And this one, I'm going to go over how to get images. So as you can see, I still have that image loading animation as I scroll, but now we have images attached to our person objects. I'm going to make sure I show you how to do this properly because if you load images incorrectly, it can cause a lot of lag with your list views. So let's open up the project. Uh, if you didn't watch my previous tutorial, I'm going to put a link in the description here. So check that one out. I'm going to be carrying on from that previous tutorial. So we're going to get started by going into our adaptive view layout and we just got to make a few changes and add a little spot for an image here. Obviously I've made this ahead of time so I'm just going to paste it in and go over it quickly. So everything's pretty much the same but I added a second linear layout here just to uh, share a horizontal layout with this text field and this image view. Pretty straightforward. I just used a weight sum to divide the layout between the image view and this text field. So we can close that and get started. We're going to be using a special library to help us display the images. It just makes it a lot easier to compress and resize the images so that they don't cause your list views to lag. Bring open a new window and just type universal image loader Android. And you can see here's the GitHub page right here. So here we have the universal image loader GitHub page. And if we just scroll down to what kind of URLs it can handle, you can see we can get images from the internet, from files, or from the assets or drawables folder. So in our case, we're going to use the drawables folder. And to get started, we can just go to the quick setup button here and scroll down and grab this, depend this Gradle dependency. So just copy this, go back to our project, open the Gradle app file, then paste the dependencies down in the bottom here and just hit sync now. Once it's done syncing, we can close the Gradle app file and go back to main activity. Actually, we're gonna jump into the uh, persons class here because we're gonna need to change, we're gonna need to change this because now we're gonna be storing a URL for an image. So we can add a new field here. We'll call it, call it image URL and add the image URL to the constructor and then generate the getter and setter methods. And okay, now we're done here. And now what we need to do is reference an image URL just like, so if we go back to the GitHub page, we can see the examples down here. So we can just grab this and copy this format. So copy that, go back to our project. We can paste this in here and we just need to reference our images. So this one can be that one and then just copy this a whole bunch of times. I'm gonna skip the video ahead here. I don't think you need to watch me copy and paste. All right, so there's all of our images. So I'm gonna stop with that amount of people but I'm gonna add duplicates to the people list just so we get a nice nice and long list. So it only goes from John to Matt, so I have those added to the people list. So I'm just gonna duplicate that a bunch of times just so we get a nice long list to work with. Now we're gonna go into our person list adapter and we need to make a few changes in here. So we need to add uh, another field here for the image. So we'll go image view and I'll just call it image. And then we need to go down here and we can actually delete this person object, we don't need that. And we're going to get the URL, so image URL, get image URL. So now we have our image URL. Okay, now we need to set up our universal image loader. So I actually found the GitHub page to be not super helpful with uh, like providing an example, but I found this blog post and it was pretty good. So uh, I'll, put the, I'll put a link in the description for this, but um, yeah, basically we just need to set up the image loader with this code right here. So we'll copy that and we'll create a method down below, we'll call it uh, setup image loader. And then we're just going to paste that code that I just copied and import all of these libraries. And the only thing we need to change in here is the context. So we just type context and that's done. And then, so what we need to do is just call this as soon as get view is called. So we, oops. So we just paste this up top and that's it. This will set up our image loader. Okay, so now let's go back to the blog post. And if we scroll down a little bit, it shows us how to set up and uh, display a bitmap to an image view. So the first step here is grabbing the image URL, but we already have that. Remember, if we go back to our project, we have the image URL right here, so that's good. Uh, so we just need to create our image loader object and then create this options object. So I'm just going to copy this, go back to the project, and I'm going to create those objects down here. So this fallback is the default image. This is the image that's going to be displayed if for some reason the image 
that we set can't load or hasn't loaded yet. So we need to create a default image for this. So I'll create that up here. Uh, so I'll just call it default image. And this is gonna be context, get resources, get identifier. And then we uh, pass the string path for our default image. So it's gonna be in drawables and I'm gonna call it image underscore failed. And then we go null and context and context got get package name. Just like we did in my uh, image view tutorial where I showed you how to set an image to an image view. We're using the exact same method here. And then we're just gonna pass this default image into all of these positions. And uh, we, still, we still need to import this image though. So currently this image is not in our drawables folder. So I'm gonna go ahead and import an image for that. So we'll go over into the res folder, open up drawables, right click on drawables, go to new image asset and we'll go to action bar and tab icons and I'm gonna call it, uh, what did I wanna call it? Image failed, so image underscore failed. And I'm just gonna use this image because it's already there, it's easy. You can choose whatever image you want by clicking on uh, clip art here. Then go to next and we can see it's gonna go to the drawables folder. So we just press finish. Now our image is in the, in the drawables folder and we have a default image. Okay, now that's done, let's go back to the blog post and see what it wants us to do next. So next we have to declare the image view object, but we've already we've already done that. We've got our image view object, uh, where is it? Oh, we didn't do that. Okay, so we have to actually cr create our image view object. So go up to holder.image equals image view and convert view, find view by ID, r.id. This should just be image. There we go. Okay, so good thing I checked the blog post. So back to the blog post and the last step here is actually displaying the image to the image loader object. So we just go back to our project and we go image loader dot display image and we here we go with the image URL then we pass the image view so that'll be folder dot image and then we pass the options and that should be good. And because I deleted that person object we just need to change this really quick too. It'll just be name and birthday and sex. And that should be good. Let's run it and see if we get any errors. Okay, looks pretty good. Everything seems to be working the way it should be. It's not laggy and the images are loading perfectly. So that's it for this video. It was pretty straightforward. I'll put the links to the GitHub page for the Universal Image Loader and uh, this blog post if you want to follow it. If this video was helpful, don't forget to leave a like below. Make sure to follow me on Twitter for notifications when new tutorials are posted. Subscribe if you haven't already. And thanks for watching.